Hey guys, what's going on? I'm your host Joss. Welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. To find us outside of this screen, follow us on our social media pages. They are all linked down below. And don't forget to stick around until the end of this video to join me as I do some common shout outs. We love hearing from you guys, so comment below for a chance at being featured. As for today's list, we are talking about some love stories. Everyone loves a good love story. For many of us, our first crush came from a Disney movie or TV series. Mine was Zac Efron in High School Musical, in case you're wondering. However, it's easy to forget that they are people just like us who outgrow Disney at some point and are now all grown up being someone's husband or wife. Let's see who some of these people are with today's list of top 10 Disney stars you did not know were married. Starting off the list at number 10 is David Henry, who starred alongside Selena Gomez on the Disney hit TV show Wizards of Waverly Place. The actor tied the knot with his long term girlfriend Maria Cahill in an intimate ceremony in Wilmington, California back in 2017. After three years, the then 27 year old was thrilled to lock her down and gushed to E! News saying, I knew Maria was special from the moment I saw her. The wedding was a ceremony filled with friends and family, including Selena Gomez and the rest of the Disney cast. Fans were freaking out about the reunion after Selena posted a picture of the cast saying, very much in my feelings about my big brother getting married, even though we for sure knew it would be him first. That is just adorable. Just a few months ago on March 19, 2019, they welcomed their first child together, a little girl named Pia. He shared on Instagram that she was a miracle for them because they actually had three miscarriages prior to being blessed with her. He thanked Pope Francis for the blessing because he literally prayed for them to have a baby. Like in person, met them, held their hands and prayed, blessed them to have a child. Their daughter's middle name is actually Francesca in honor of him. Up next at number 9 is Tiffany Thornton, the bubbly blonde actress who starred alongside Demi Lovato on the series Sunny with a Chance. The former Disney star went on to marry Chris Carney, a musician and MTV reality star. He was known for being the lead singer of the rock band The Prom Kings. They were married from 2011 to 2015 and had two very handsome sons together before he tragically died in a car accident on December 4th, 2015. He was only 35 years old. Only two years after after his death, she got remarried to a longtime family friend named Josiah Capasi. Many people criticized her for finding happiness with someone else only two years after the death of her first husband. But she did not let them rain on her parade and posted a lengthy caption defending her choices. In it, she said, I quote, There is no timeline for grief or for when God moves in your life in undeniable ways. I thought of Chris watching us, knowing he would have loved the choice I made for me and for the boys. I will always love Chris, and Joe knows that. Chris Carney his parents also attended the wedding and sat front row in full support of her happiness. Sliding to number 8 is Corbin Blue, you know Zac Efron's best friend in the movie series High School Musical. The former Disney actor married actress Sasha Clemens on July 23rd, 2016 in California. He was 27 years old at the time and she was 26 when they said their vows in front of guests at Hummingbird Nest in Santa Susana. Corbin told People Magazine, I quote, Getting married to Sasha was the best moment of my life. From the flowing veil in the wind as she walked to the big smile on her face, it suddenly hit me that the stunning woman that was looking at me was going to marry Marry me and make me the happiest man in the world. My heart. He's got away with words, right? Well, not always. His vows caused more of a stir than anything when he didn't really think them all the way through. Turns out they wrote their own vows, and when writing them, he was only thinking with her in mind. During his beautiful vows, he got to one part and said, I vow to pleasure you which immediately had everyone laughing because one can only imagine what the bride's father was thinking during a moment like that. Forgot her father is like sitting right there. And I said, I, I vow to pleasure you. And, and it created that, and, but I kept going, I stopped myself. In at number seven is Molly Gray. She first started out as a backup dancer in High School Musical, but then got recognized for her role in Disney's Teen Beach movie and Teen Beach 2. She's known for her incredible talent and skills in dance, and was actually later on a finalist on season six of So You Think You Can Dance. So I think she can dance. She surprised some fans after she came out as gay and dated her girlfriend, Jekka Jane, for four years. She said she hid it for so long because she was afraid that it would affect her career. She told Advocate, I quote, I kept it hidden. I was so scared. I thought if somebody knows, I won't book a job and there is no way I could ever play straight again on camera. It just messed with my head. They started dating in September 2013 and Jekka proposed in April 2016. They ended up getting married in September 2017 in a ceremony that looked pretty much like a fairy tale. The ceremony and 
reception was held on the rooftop of the landing in South Lake Tahoe's Heavenly Village. And boy was it heavily, look at the pictures. Molly was ecstatic and says she cannot wait to experience her life with her new husband. That's what she calls Jekka and I think it is the cutest thing ever. Me and my husband. Oh! That's so cute. Coming into number six is Ryan Merriman. The actor started out in Disney Channel original movies like Smart House, The Luck of the Irish, and A Ring of Endless Light. He was a little Disney heartthrob at the time, and he also grew up into one and starred on the hit TV series Pretty Little Liars. He's all grown up now and he's married, so Disney fans have officially lost their chance at being with this hottie. He got married to his wife Kristen McMullen on September 6, back in 2014. They got married in an intimate ceremony on the East Coast, but his proposal is talked about more than his actual wedding. He proposed to her in April 2013 on their trip to New Zealand. He told Us Weekly how it happened and said, There is this awesome thing called Sky City with a stratosphere tower and they light off about $300,000 worth of fireworks at midnight. As soon as I gave her a kiss and proposed, the fireworks started going off. It was kind of like a movie. Mmm, I want a proposal like that. This video is making me very bitter. I'm learning. <laughs> I don't want to talk about love anymore. Power through list at number five is Tamara and Tia Maori. Because they are twins, I am allowing to take up one spot. I mean, I don't think it's fair to only mention one of them. How would I even choose? I feel like that would be rude. They started their acting careers on the sitcom Sister Sister and later gained more recognition for starring together on the Disney Channel movie Twitches and then its sequel, Twitches 2. Tia and her husband, Corey Hardrick, are like a real life fairy tale. After dating for six years, the couple got engaged on Christmas Day in 2006 and then got married on April 20th, 2008. They have two adorable children together and are definitely hashtag goals. Her sister Tamara is also married and tied the knot to a man named Adam Housley. They had their first date back in January 2005 at PF Chang's and through some ups and downs still got married later in 2011. Social media took a toll on their relationship for people having racial issues with their relationship. But nonetheless, they are now a family of four and are cuter than ever. Up next at number four is another high school musical star, Monique Coleman. In all honesty, I was totally shipping her and Corbin Blue to date for like ever. I really wish they were on this list together like married to each other, but whatever. After her years at Disney, she went on to compete in ABC's Dancing with the Stars. For years, people have talked about her boyfriend, Walter Jordan. They referred to him as her boyfriend because Monique actually kept it private that they got married on Valentine's Day back in 2012. They got married in a private ceremony on an island off the coast of Thailand. Like literally, it was just them. She never talked about why she kept it private, but from what we've seen in the pictures, it looked like they had a very special time, just the two of them. They don't have any kids yet, just an adorable little fur baby be a dog, but rumors have started two days ago on August 19th, 2019, after an article surfaced claiming that she is expecting. The actress's rep told the journalist, I do not comment on her personal life. So it has neither been confirmed nor denied. Here we are number three with Christy Carlson Romano, who is mostly known for her role as Ren Stevens on the Disney show Even Stevens. She's also known for being the voice of Kim Possible, which is really freaking cool. She's now married to a man named Brendan Rooney. They had a winter wedding here in Canada on December 31st, 2013. I personally cannot imagine taking my wedding pictures in a pile of snow, but hers actually turned out beautiful. The two of them have been together since 2011, and they met when she interviewed him for a campus documentary about veterans at Columbia University. He served time as a Marine and just so happened to be the president of the Columbia's military veterans organization. They got engaged less than a year into dating. Turns out he proposed on a gondola in Italy. So romantic. They now have two beautiful daughters together who will both probably grow up to be Kim Possible every year on Halloween. In spot number two is Ali Makalka, also known as AJ from the sister duo Ali and AJ. But when it came to acting, she was known for her role as Keely in the Disney Channel series Phil of the Future. The former Disney star married her film producer fiance, Steven Ringer, at a romantic ceremony in Italy back in 2015. She went against the odds and wore a lavender colored dress, and she looked beautiful doing it. They first met back in 2000. 2012 on the set of Sequoia, the movie where Ali played the lead role and Steven produced it. The couple asked their friends and family who attended the wedding to hashtag any of their posts with the hashtag put a ringer on it to tie it in with his last name. Get it? I think that is super clever and adorable. As for now in 2019, there are no kids in the family picture, but the good news is her and her sister Ali are back as a band and touring for the first time in forever. That's pretty sweet. Taking our number one spot is Ashley Tisdale. That is right, Miss Sharpe Evans toned down the sass and locked down a man. The high school musical star married musician Christopher French on September 4th back in 2014. She posted her wedding pictures to her Instagram and captioned them, best day of my life. Their wedding was actually a secret and they were able to pull it off because they got married on a Monday. A Monday. 
She said they chose the date because the 8th was their anniversary, but also because she was hoping no one would figure it out and they could have more privacy. All the guests were sent to a secret location and they were actually shuttled to the wedding ceremony. They even took everyone's cell phones and other electronics for the ceremony so that no pictures could be leaked. The couple didn't meet at some fancy event either. They actually met back in 2012 through mutual friends. So maybe let your friends set you up on your next date. You never know. The best part of her wedding was standing alongside her was her high school musical co-star Vanessa Hudgens, who was one of her bridesmaids. My teenage self is screaming inside right now because that is so precious. All right, there's our list for today. Click that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and share your thoughts with me down in the comments. For now, let's check out some comments from some of my other videos. Alien146 says, How stupid do you have to be to cheat on Jennifer Aniston? Really stupid. Like, so stupid. Ol Fong Soom says, Is this a Canadian channel? Why, do I sound really Canadian? Yes, we do film here in Canada. Bubbles Artwork says, love this channel and all the hosts. Can we have more celebrity scandals, please? Ooh, you guys just love that celebrity tea. More is on the way. I'm your host, Joss, and I will see you next time.